Hi, my lovely people. So I'm sorry, y'all. Like I told everybody in the video before, we have been having horrendous weather. So the internet is in and out. But baby, I'm sorry that this reaction has taken me so long. So I have now watched twice um, Jasmine's apology, right? And it was no apology. Let me tell you something. We'll get into it more. But let's start off with this one, okay? It was no apology, honey. You just wanted to get on here and be uh, petty in a nice way. You wanted to announce that, huh, oh, you were so mad at Chrissy. But let's just take a little trip down memory lane for the fun of it. Spray down, okay? Rare moment. Come on, Chrissy. Come I'm supposed to stop, but I can't I'm the top. I love hoes. And I'm addicted to money cause it goes to a big <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, we are in the bathroom. It's just too lit. No kids. No kids. Kids sleep. Aiden's gone. Kids sleep. Not kids sleep. Kids sleep. Kids sleep. Hey, 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 hey. See, when I watched this so-called apology, right, I just thought, is those the times that Jasmine misses? Honey, you uh took all this time to edit up an apology video, and the best you could do was make Chrissy a snapping turtle? That's the best you could do? Ooh, we not master editor. Not master editor. That's the best you could do. As much as you went on about Chrissy and not about the apology to your subscribers or your mother like you thought you were trying to do, it really made you sound like a scorned lover. I'm sorry. It really did. But another thing that caught me funny, you got on here to my, I want to apologize to my subscribers for everything. You know, I was cussing. I was doing this. Then I want to subscribe, you know, oh, subscribe. Yeah, you need to go to subscribe, dear mama. I want to apologize to my mom for, you know, getting out of pocket. And, and the thing that got me was don't ever say that you apologize, okay, when you say that everything that you said you meant. So it wouldn't matter if you took away the cuss words. If you were trying to apologize to your mother, which uh, I wouldn't care if you did or didn't. I still think Mama Deuce is dirty. But I would never speak to my mom like that. I have a, a thing called, you know, a cutoff game and it's real strong. I would have let it be and I would have knew where I stood. But even if you didn't apologize, oh, I don't want to apologize. I want to apologize for cussing. But guess what? You still called your mom a dirty person. You still called your mom a low down. You still said that she was a liar. You still said that you weren't going to deal with her. You still said some things. You said that you hate her. You told her to shut up. And, you know, so just take out the cuss words. It was still downright rude. Then you want to, uh, I want to thank my mods and I, I want to apologize to all the subscribers. Girl, you need to first off be apologizing to your kids. I, that's why I don't understand all this apology. But do y'all remember when Jasmine got caught by my shabby life with all of the abuse and, you know, all the allegations that we seen on camera? And remember she did that apology where she sat on the bedroom floor with her lion leopard sweater on and she was getting down with the get down? Well, let me just say this, Jasmine, that was about the same apology, uh-huh, because you really just want to be back FaceTiming with Chr I, Chrissy and everything else. I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't get it. I really don't. I don't get how someone can be so I'm done with a person, but yet their mouth keeps speaking about this person. Like, I, I mean... I guess I am one to speak on it because there's a lot of people out here that speak on me and I make a video and say, I'm happy. I'm not going to argue with you. And, I, and I'll leave it at that because I don't really care. There's still people that mention my name and I could give two shits about like what somebody think about you. You shouldn't care because if you get on here and you say, well, I'm apologizing, but these people on these apps, they don't know me. If you really felt that way, then you wouldn't be apologizing. You would stick by what you said and you would keep it pushing. This is a whole bunch of mess. I don't get it because your children deserve the apology. Because see, what people don't um, seem to always realize on this app is, this is my thing. When Jasmine got on here, no matter how she act, it was the fact that her children was out here bumping their heads, falling around, crying, screaming, wanting attention. And she wanted to get on here and argue with a woman that she claimed she cared nothing about. See, you could have been like, hey, y'all, uh, give me a minute. Took even a five, six minute break. People still would have been there. Sat down, made sure your kids had a snack, made sure your kids were straight. We heard all this screaming. We heard all this bumping. We know that uh, Caitlin and Amaya are playing mommy times 10 now. So the only person that you should have been out here apologizing to was your children. And honey, uh-uh, 
to, then she gonna say, oh, and then, you know, and it makes Chris upset and this is upset. And one thing you don't do is talk about my mama. And one thing you don't do is talk about my kids. Well, uh, first off, they weren't talking about your mama. That That's my whole thing. Wasn't nobody talking about your mama. You allowed your mods and the people in your chat to talk about and dog your mama. Do you forget that? Nobody was talking about your mama. Everybody was talking about how rude you were. You were just embarrassed that the truth of the matter got dropped. That's what you were. Didn't nobody say nothing about your mama. All they did was put the receipts out and then bingity bangity boom, the truth was out. So I didn't get that part. Oh, I'm just not going to have it. Girl, you the one who dragged your mama up and down the sidewalk like you was walking Bentley or that pit bull. Not nobody out here. I mean, I think she's a messy boots, okay? And I think your mom is too old for the mess that she out here pulling on the YouTube streets. And I'll be the first to say that. But I will also say this. That's your mama, not mine. So I'm going to report on it. I don't have to care about it. For someone using the excuse, I had to take a break from YouTube. I had to take time off for my mental health and my well-being. But you came right back on here with the same old drama, with the same old foolery, with the same old fakery. You keep bringing the drama to yourself. Then you continue to play the victim. Oh, well, they talk about me in my own comments. Oh, let me post this in my uh, community post. And then I'll make everybody see that they're always talking about me. And I always have to defend myself. Jasmine, do you realize that the only reason you have to defend yourself is because of the content that you put out? Do you realize that you're the one who edits your content? So if you put out here kids that have stubbed fingers, black eyes, um, hair that's damaged, hair that's been in for eight months, uh, edges missing, kids looking malnourished, kids screaming, kids falling. You are the one who edits your video. So you should have sat there and edited it out and act as though, you know, you were the master editor that you claim that you are. So we would know nothing unless you put it out. But see, you always put your business out here in these streets. But you always get mad when somebody claps back or calls you out for the foolery. I can't make it up. I cannot wait to see what you guys have to say in the comments about what you thought about this apology. Because, baby, it was a no-go for me. So I will see you guys down below. And I can't wait. I am gonna can't wait for the laugh and everything. So I will see you guys down there. Have a wonderful Christmas Eve. I will talk to you later.